Hi guys, right, we're going to do some activity skills today. We're going to do some bouncing and some rolling. So before we start, we need to make sure that we're nice and safe. So move anything out the way that you may bump into, okay? Right, we're going to play a game called the body parts game. So we may have played this before in PE. So we're going to be jogging on the spot, or you can jog around if you've got some space. And when this ward calls out a body part, as fast as you can, we need to put that body part on the floor. So if Miss Ward was to shake hands, you'd stop jogging, and as fast as you could, your hands would have to touch the floor. Okay, so let's give it a go. Ready? Jogging, off we go. So on the spot, or it may be jogging around. Your knees, so pop your knees oh, on the floor. Well done, super fast guys. Up we get, jogging, jogging on the spot, moving our feet, moving our arms. Bottom, quickly as you can, bottom on the floor. Well done, up we get then, nice and fast, jogging on the spot. Your tummy, oh, oh, well done. Good job, up we get on your feet, jogging on the spot. Can we change some star jumps? And jogging. And your bottom, quick, quick, your back, your bottom, your tummy, your back. Off we go jogging. Well done, good job. Remember, we should be getting warm now. Your hands, well done, hands. Perfect, and stop there. Hopefully, we're a little bit warmer now. So. Like I said earlier on, we're going to do some bouncing and some rolling. So to start with, you're going to need a ball, okay? Miss Ward's got a tennis ball. It doesn't matter what type of ball, we just need a ball for today, okay? So rolling. We're going to start by rolling the ball around our bodies. So I want you to sit down, legs crossed. The ball is going to start on the floor using your fingers can you push that ball around your body? So around the back and all the way around the front. Look, we saw using her fingers to roll the ball. Keeping it as close to my body as I can. Then it goes around the back. Look, it's really close. Using my fingers. And you can see the ball is on the floor. It's rolling. Oh, stop it there. Can you roll it the other way around now? So on the floor, using your fingers around your body. If you can, you might speed it up a little bit, but not too fast because we need to keep it close to our bodies. So using my fingers, rolling it all the way around. I'm using both hands. Look, my right hand, then I'll swap to my left hand, all the way around my back as well. Excellent. Right, we're going to try something different now. Can you put your feet together and your knees together? So if we saw us to do it this way, my feet are together and my knees. And what I want you to do, go from side to side. Can we roll the ball under your legs? So look, I'm rolling the ball under my legs. It goes underneath and to the other side. Under my legs and to the other side. Well done, good job. Again, keeping it close and it's rolling underneath. We don't want it to roll away, so don't do it too fast. Perfect. Right, this time we're going to see if we can roll it across our tummies. So stand it up on your feet. Can you now pop the ball on your tummy and using your fingers again, can we roll it all the way across your back? Oh, all the way across your side and across your tummy. Look, so using my fingers, it's touching my tummy. It's going all the way around my back. Rolling that ball all the way around my tummy. Don't let it drop. Can we do it once more? So all the way around your tummy. Around your back, it's coming round. Look, there it is. All the way around and back to our uh, 
belly buttons. Well done. Great job, guys. If you want, you can do that a few more times as well. Okay? Right, this time we're going to see if you can roll the ball to a friend. So if you've got somebody in the house with you, see if you can roll the ball across the floor to your friend. And remember when we roll, it has to go on the floor, not bouncy or in the air, it has to go on the floor. So using one hand, bend your knees, can we roll the ball forwards? Okay. To your friend. If you haven't got anybody with you, like Miss Horch has done, you can roll it into a space, then you can walk, and we can roll it back. So bending my knees, balls on the floor, roll. And you can see it's only rolling slowly. We don't want it super fast, zooming across the house. It seems to be a slow roll. Give it a go, see if you can roll your ball forwards in a straight line. Remember, you can roll it to somebody, or you can just roll it forwards like Miss Ward just did. But just remember, with one hand, bend your knees and roll it across the floor. Not too fast, okay? Good job. Right, we're now going to move on to some bouncing. So, when we bounce, the ball has to go down, okay? Because throwing, it goes up, but bouncing, it goes down, okay? So, standing still, open your legs just as wide as your shoulders, and I want you to see if you can bounce the ball by your feet and catch it when it comes up. Have a look, what can you see Miss Ward using? to catch the ball. Have a look carefully. We've used this before. Watch my hands. It's bouncing down. And when it comes up, what am I using? Have a look. Well done, if you've guessed my cup. I'm using my cup to catch the ball. So just like when we do our throwing, it's the same for bouncing. When it bounces up, I'm gonna use my cup. Bounces up, I'm using my cup. So, I just want you to give that a little go. Can you bounce the ball down and when it comes up, can you catch it in your cup? Off you go, this one's gonna give you a few seconds. Great job, so bounce it down and cup to catch that ball. If you look, Miss Ward's not running all around, I'm standing still. So we need to bounce the ball down, down. Not forwards or to the side, it needs to go down. So when it comes up, it landed straight in your cup shape. Miss Ward's eyes are also watching my ball. All of the time. Perfect, well done. Did you notice how high Miss Ward's ball was bouncing? Watch again. Watch how high it's bouncing. It's not bouncing to my knees or to my head. It's bouncing to my waist. So when you bounce the ball, you want it to go waist high. So as high as your dancing hips, okay? Your waist height. Off you go, a few more seconds, and then I'm gonna set you a challenge. Cup shape, eyes on the ball. I'm going to bounce waist height. Perfect, well done. Again, if you want to practice a little bit more, you can carry on practicing. I'm now going to set you a challenge. Okay. Miss Ward wants to see some of your challenges on the school Twitter. So make sure you're taking some pictures and some great videos. So the challenge is in 30 seconds, how many times can you bounce? catch your ball okay in 30 seconds so miss ward looks forward to seeing some of your videos on the school twitter off you go let's try our challenge miss ward will see you later